Hi everybody, 4 o'clock on what has turned out to be a beautiful Wednesday. I hope you've enjoyed the, the mild temperatures. We have the east winds near the gorge, but much of the metro has seen light conditions. Big story now is all of the rain. Looks like we could get our first push of rain around midnight tonight. Uh, and I do expect a pretty good rain ban overnight. Not sure if that lasts all the way into the morning commute or if it winds down early tomorrow morning. Uh, then we'll get a break with just some scattered midday showers and then more rain coming in later in the afternoon. And then Thursday evening looks fairly wet. Um, same deal Friday. Not raining all the time, but occasional shots of decent rain. Two-day rain toll is what we get overnight tonight, Thursday, Friday. That could be an inch of rain, potentially. And then the heavier rain, the new forecast, now shows Saturday as the potential for an inch of rain. And then occasional rain, meaning some breaks on Sunday. Then, bam, another shot of what could be an inch of rain all together on Monday. And then that should be it. Right now, Tuesday looks to be dry with an area of high pressure moving in. Winds will be light. We'll have some fog, then get some sun. Same thing on Wednesday. And then right now, I have us back into an inversion pattern, which will probably produce strong east winds in the gorge. Warm temperatures up on the mountain. Warm temperatures at the coast. Kind of what we've been seeing. That returns the mid part of next week. Okay, keep an eye on the rain totals um, for possible high water spots developing this weekend, especially Saturday night after that good rain expected during the day on Saturday. And uh, I will talk to you soon. By the way, snow levels can be found on the five-day forecast on the Mount Hood page. Maybe the snow levels are low enough to give us some decent mountain snow, at least at times, this weekend.